Hey guys, what's up? Uh, in this video, I wanted to show you a new addition to my live streaming setup, which is this uh, ATEM Mini. It's uh, basically a little uh, live video switcher. Uh, not only that, but it can actually do a few other things that I'm going to show you and, and explain why I upgraded to this versus my, my other live streaming setup. So, by the way, uh, this whole video, I'm actually recording live here uh, to my laptop here uh, using OBS. Uh, and uh, and it's all being done basically I'm switching the angles here using the ATEM Mini. So the ATEM Mini is like I mentioned a live video switcher. The reason why I upgraded from what I had before, which uh, those of you who don't know what I had before, uh, before I used to use also a Blackmagic uh, switcher uh, which was the ATEM uh, HD. Uh, it was a great switcher uh, and it's good if you just care about you know being able to switch to different camera angles and it has um, actually more inputs because it has four HDMI and four SDI. Now, once I actually wanted to stream that video live to YouTube, Facebook or whatever it is that you want to stream it to, then I actually needed to get uh, something else, which is also from Blackmagic and th that was the uh, Blackmagic Web Presenter. And essentially what that allowed me to do is to take any video signal and that my previous setup is to take it from the Atom HD switcher plug it into the web presenter, and then the web presenter outputted uh, sort of like a webcam signal. So I could plug in a USB uh, into my computer, and my computer recognized it as a webcam. Uh, but, you know, obviously I had all this other capability in there. Well, now the cool thing is that with the ATEM Mini, it does all of that, and it's a lot smaller. So as you can see, this is literally it. This is this box. It's very light, uh, very thin also. And uh, what I like about it is that it's meant to be kind of set up actually here on a desk, which for me, this works best because uh, I travel a lot with it when I do like live shows. I do it sometimes from different locations. So I want to be able to have something that's a very small when I travel with it and that is fast to set up. Now, the, the difference between this and, let's say, the, the previous uh, Blackmagic Atom HD switcher that I had is mainly just the fact that that one, like I said, had more inputs because it actually had uh, H uh, SDI inputs. This one only has HDMI here, you can see in the back. And also the fact that the Atom HD was sort of meant to be mounted on a kind of a rack system. And that's how I had it set up uh, in my previously. Which again, once you have a whole rack like this, it's not easy to travel with it. Uh, also, I didn't like it because my rack was kind of low and I wanted something that like a lot of times when I'm doing this live streaming and stuff like that, I want something that I can operate. And so I needed to have it like right here with me on the desk. Uh, that's the cool thing about the ATEM Mini is that now we have everything in this one thing. Uh, so for example, if let's say you just want to use the ATEM Mini for uh, just video switching, then you can do that. So as you can see, you have these four different buttons. I can, for example, here, button one, I have switched to my main camera here, which is the, the white camera. And by the way, all the cameras I'm using are from Blackmagic too. So that's the Ursa, uh, Ursa Mini Pro. Uh, here, the second camera is the Packet 6K, which right now, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, actually there's like a little, you know, black bars here on top and bottom. That's because this camera is actually set to uh, Cinema 4K. Uh, and, and even though the, my Ursa Mini is set to UHD, Resolution, so slightly different aspect ratios, but again, you'll notice the cool thing about the ATEM Mini now is it doesn't matter what kind of signals pretty much you hook connect and slightly different resolutions or even frame rates, it's still going to work. Whereas previously I found that you had to have like the same frequency, the same like frame rate, all that stuff for it to, to, to work. Uh, so now I like the fact that you can have different okay, again, resolutions, frame rates, you can mix and match it and it all works. Uh, here, Angle 3 is my other camera here that I have that's looking... At, uh, at the actual ATEM. And then I have angle four, which is literally here going to my laptop. And in the case of like when I'm doing live streams, this is my, my sort of, I'm extending my desktop on my laptop. So it allows me to play, for example, videos while I'm, um, while I'm doing the live streams. Uh, you know, so I can have things playing here in the background or, you know, I can make it full screen. And this now allows me to, uh, to basically f go, you know, like let's say switch to my face here. I can be talking and let's say I, if I have a guest, I can switch it again to his, you know, my guest face. Then I can have, let's say, some of the footage playing. Uh, and then if I want to, I can switch to the, the wide angle shot here. So that's the kind of cool thing is that it's all right here. Now, another thing I'll show you is uh, there's obviously a lot more buttons here. The, these are the, just the four big buttons which allow you to switch the four video inputs. So they, as you can see, they don't have to be just cameras. In my case, I have three cameras and then the fourth one is the computer. Um, now, the uh, other cool thing is that uh, I also, for example, have here, um, uh, you can cut to still, so it's like a still frame that you can loan in, in, in the bank, uh, or for example, just a black frame. So if I click here, this, uh, you're still going to hear me, but obviously you can't see me. Uh, so here, I'm going to cut back. 
so that's the, that's one kind of, sort of a cool thing. Another thing you can do here is, uh, for example, you can turn off and on and the microphones or basically the audio that that's also coming in. But here you have just the microphones. You have mic one and two, and you have actually here ways to plug in the mics. So you have these three and a half millimeter jacks here, as you can see. Uh, you can plug in. Here's your for HDMI in inputs. Uh, this one actually is a USB Type-C connection, which I'll explain in a minute what that does. is an Ethernet connection, and this is just a power plug. Um, so if you were to plug in, let's say, one of the, uh, the, the, you know, the microphones, then uh, as you can see, you can have two mics, and you can switch between those two, and you have quick set of some buttons here so you can adjust the volume up and down. Uh, in my setup, I'm not using that. I could, if I was example, traveling and I don't want to take my whole basically setup, which if you see, my whole setup actually uses the Rodecaster uh, from Rode. And I find that like if, if, I, if I'm in my studio, I find this to be the best way to do it because it's just bigger. And also because a lot of the live streams that I do now, which by the way, if you didn't know, my live show is back here on my YouTube channel. And on top of that, I, I am recording it and I'm outputting it as a podcast. So just, you know, any place where you get your podcast from, just go and type in Filmmaking Times Live or just put in my name, Tom Antos, and it's going to pop up there. So you'll be able to listen to the audio from, from the live streams there. Um, and that's the reason why I use the Roadcaster because it allows me to record this in real time and then I just take out the card, you know, upload it to my, my, the, the, the podcast here, um, my host. Uh, but in terms of the the video aspect, it's all being done in here. And I, like I said, if I wanted to, I could do the audio mixing here. Uh, but obviously, it's, you know, it's a little bit more limited than doing it through like the, the you know, the, the Roadcaster uh, because the Roadcaster is, has more audio inputs, easier way to kind of manage your mixing and all that stuff. Like, for example, have even audio coming in from my computer, which... Right now I have this little music coming there in the background. So I can mix those things uh, just, you know, a lot easier uh, than, than on the 8M Mini. But the cool thing is that it still has audio mixing capability. And actually, if you connect this um, through the USB, uh, for example, or the Ethernet to uh, a computer, uh, the 8M Mini, which in my case right now, uh, well, I have it plugged in, but for something else. Um, if you have it plugged in for that, then the cool thing is that you can open their software and their software actually allows a lot more control. So with the, the ATEM Mini software on your laptop and this plugged into your laptop or desktop, whatever, you can you can actually there have sliders, like virtual sliders that you can adjust audio and do other things, for example. Uh, but right now I'm just gonna concentrate on what you can do here uh, with the, within the actual like hardware. Um, so like I said, you can sort of adjust the audio and turn off and on your two mic inputs there. Um, you also have, for example, the audio. So you, have, you can have audio follows video. So let's say if there is some kind of audio source, like let's say if I'm, I don't know, live streaming uh, uh, me playing a video game or something and one of the HDMI ports is, you know, uh, sending video but also audio, then I can also adjust the volume of that. I can turn off the audio. In my case, you'll notice all of these are off, 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 off because I don't want to use any of these audio. Um, basic inputs up here, but you can do all these things. You can you know, reset and stuff. So it's kind of nicely laid out for just the video aspect. Here, like I said, you have your still image, which you can load into the bank or a black uh, still, which right now I, I haven't loaded any images. Uh, another cool thing is you have, for example, here picture and picture. So with the uh, picture and picture, you, it, like it says, you can you know if I click it. You'll see now my A camera, which is that's what I set it up to. Uh, I can have it, and I can switch the corners wherever I want it. Uh, and then if I want to turn it off, I just click it off. Uh, here's, for example, transition. So right now I have set to uh, half a second transition. I can set, for example, to two seconds. My transition right now, if I just, you know, it's here, it's set to auto. That's the, uh, the transition is just dissolved. So right now it's two seconds. So it's going to be a very long and slow dissolve, very dramatic or romantic or whatever, however you want to look at it. Uh, but yeah, that's how basically you can do this. And then let's say if you don't want to do this, you want to like, you don't want to have transitions, you want to just do cutting, then you do cut. And then you can just quickly, as you can see, cut between the different angles. Um, and, and by the way, you can load in different transitions. And again, that you can set up all using their software when you plug it into your laptop. Uh, you can do other things. You can, for example, put in overlays and other things like that. Like if you want to have, uh, let's say, uh, you know, animations or, or uh, you know, f I don't know, let's say your website or your Facebook thing show up, you can have that too. Uh, that's like a little bit more advanced and you can follow. There's some tutorials that people have done and actually that Blackmagic has done. Uh, this, you, you can follow um, if you want to kind of learn how to do all those things. Uh, but anyways, as you can see, cool little setup now that I have. 
And definitely, if I want to travel and let's say do a live streaming show from, let's say, if I go, I don't know, to NAB, and let's say I want to do something from my hotel room, I can just do this right there using this thing because it's so easy to set up. Now, another really cool thing, like I said, is this isn't just for video switching, but it's also uh, in case you want to go streaming. So in this case right now, I have this, uh, like I mentioned, my USB Type-C here cable plugged in. And that cable, uh oh I pressed the fade to black button. <laughs> so I'm going to switch here. There we go. All right. Um, so yeah, if if here I have the cable, as you can see, and it's basically going here to my laptop. So my laptop's right here, and it's recording everything, like I said, on, on OBS. So OBS is uh, it's one of the streaming you know programs I can get. It's a free one actually, and it's really good. Uh, so that's the reason why I use it, um, and I'm recording it right there in OBS. But basically through this cable, uh, you can control the ATEM menu. Like I said, if I were to launch the software on my laptop. Uh, which I'll do another video about that. But another cool thing is through this cable, you're sending HD signal, uh, the you know, up to 60 frames per second HD signal to your laptop that your laptop recognizes as a webcam. So then means that let's say if you're doing a Skype call with somebody, or let's say you want to have a, you know, somebody as a guest, you know, on, through Skype, well, they can see you because and they can, for example, see everything that you're doing here, like when I'm switching the different angles. And that's kind of cool because for them, all they're seeing is my webcam, which in this case, I would just say that I want to switch to the, the, the Blackmagic ATEM Mini webcam. I, I think that's the name th uh, that it shows up under. Um, and so whether you want to use this just to do Skype calls or let's say you're, you know, maybe just doing like conferences or live presentations uh, and, you know, not necessarily maybe live streaming shows on YouTube and stuff, but where you just need to be able to have good quality camera. So you can use any camera because you can plug it into here. And then let's say you want to be able to switch to some presentation that you're showing. Again, you, this is great because then you can call via Skype and you can do all these things. And the other person on the other end doesn't have to worry about anything. You know, you, you're the one switching everything up here. Um, and that's kind of the cool capability of this. And and like I said, obviously for live web uh, streaming or video streaming, whether it's on YouTube, Facebook, you know, whatever other places you, it is that you people stream, uh, if you want to be streaming video, then now again using this little box, you can do it, uh, and you're doing it in 1080p, 60 frames per second. And by the way, if you were to use this. Uh, just uh, for video switching and let's say because you do have a video out one uh, in this case I'm not using that video out. It's just plugged into nothing But normally I actually have another kind of a monitor here a set up on my desk so I can kind of see Just what's happening here and like what signal I'm, I'm outputting in case my desktop is let's say obscured or you know Sometimes it's like too far for me to look this way um, So you can do that or you can output that one signal uh, and you can, for example, put it to an HD recorder or to, you know, whatever, another, let's say, if a, you know, live broadcast kind of a system, if you wanted to use this for TV even. Uh, and the cool thing is that then this actually will output uh, 1080p, 60p signal uh, that's 10-bit 422. So, uh, you know, not only that, but it's, it's actually a really good quality video signal. So anyways, hopefully this video gives you guys a good idea of uh, what the ATEM Mini can do and how you guys can use it in your setup. Uh, as always, if you want more info, uh, follow the links in the description of this video uh, or head on over to my website at tomantosfilms.com. Uh, and uh, you know, I'm going to put up more specs and information up there. Uh, and uh, if you haven't already, uh, make sure you subscribe to my newsletter so you stay up to date with the, the live shows that I'm going to be doing in the podcast and also all the other cool stuff that I, I always release on my website. Uh, as always, my name is Tom Antos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.